Hey boys, it's Harm Nun. Today I'm back in Grand Theft Auto Online with my friends NPC and Twingo for another Top Gear challenge. Today we're going to be doing the best vehicle or car for $750,000. 750000 is our budget for purchasing the car as well as any upgrades that we want to apply to it, including cosmetics. Paint on the vehicles is free though. We're then going to take the cars in a series of challenges to compete to find out which of the three cars is the best. The challenges are as follows. We will do a drag race, a circuit race, then figure out which of the three cars is the best looking, then a sprint race to a random location, and finally, which of the three cars is the best value for your money. The winner of each challenge will have a maximum of three points for first place, two points for second place, and of course, one point for third place. At the end of the challenges, we are gonna total up all the points and find out who the winner is. So we're gonna go ahead and pick our cars, then we're all gonna go and upgrade them and then meet up for the first challenge. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, gentlemen. All right, time it's to pick our cars. Time, to, time pick. to pick our cars. Time to pick our cars. All right, so. Before before we start picking our cars, I just need everyone to look at my current vehicle here. Yeah, Asbo. Just a moment of appreciation for the Maxwell Asbo. It's Asbo appreciation hours right now. Let's go. You. Don't do it. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare. You're right. Respect. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick my car now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a lot of good cars in this there price is range. It's a lot of good cars. It's weird. Uh, it's, it's, weird. it's weird though, because 750k is also quite limiting. I agree. There's some that are like this, if I had 800k. Yeah, if I had eight. Yeah, if I had 800k, I know what I would pick. Um, one one option is this right here. Another that I was looking at is this right here, and another that I was looking at is right here gonna be one of the three not sure i, don't I was know. thinking about i was i was thinking like the uh 770 is pretty cool but it does not have very much money left it's, over yeah it is very expensive it's also very fast but it's i don't know if it's i don't know if it's fast enough you know what i'm saying yeah. so i think that, the, yeah. that this car makes a lot of sense right here but this one is quite nice as well i love this one i love this one it's my favorite this one this here. one's mine this one i'm here. taking it making but, it my favorite i think for the best value for money we cannot go wrong with this one totally i'm ordering the vehicle totally boom car has been purchased i'm gonna go customize mine good luck I'm gonna run later, over on my way out gentlemen i think it's between the grotty cheetah and the grotty bestia gts the gts is going to give us a little more room for customization i was also thinking of the pegasi vodka the, the vodka is crazy for 240k like it's it's one that i feel like we really couldn't go wrong with it's tempting it's tempting at this price range you know what even though the vodka might not be the fastest car. I'm gonna go for it today. Two hundred and forty thousand. Let's 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 pull the trigger on the vodka. So we're two hundred and forty k down. So that means we have five hundred and ten thousand um, left to to work with. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drive over to my auto shop. All right, here we are at the auto shop, and there is my vodka. This is a mean looking car, to be honest. It's very good looking. I I do actually like the vodka a lot. Let's uh, let's let's start customizing this this uh, this vehicle here. All right, so we have five hundred and ten thousand for the body work. Let's so let's just start with that. Uh, we do have the roll cage that we can put in. Not a super fan of it. We're not going to go for that today. For the engine, let's do that. Minus $31,825. Then let's go down to the turbo and we'll minus $47,500. And then for the transmission, let's put the race transmission on and minus another $38,000. So we have $392,000 left. Let's let's go crazy. Let's spend $47,50 on a limo tint for this. Let's do that. And for the wheels, ooh, there's so many good looking wheels in the game now that we can go for. Let's go maybe some Mercy Concaves. Or should we just go regular Mercies? I don't know. Mercy Concave does have something about it that's just a little bit more enticing to me. It is gonna cost us 31,000, but I think we got the money to spare. So let's minus another $31,350 and we'll put on the Mercy Concaves. Nice, okay, now for the wheel color. I'm thinking I wanna go black, so let's minus 561. So we got that. Brakes, we might as well, we might as well upgrade the brakes. Let's do uh, another 33,000 
Another 33,250 gone. And then we might as well put armor on this thing as well, I think. So let's do another 47,500 off of there. So we're still at 275K. Okay, now we gotta go to the bodywork. Do we want the roll cage? I'm thinking no. It doesn't really appeal to me that much uh, so let's let's not do that for the exhaust though we can go for the dual shotgun exhaust which i don't think looks better so let's leave it alone for the hood we could go carbon not a fan of that though uh, the lights though we are gonna go xenon for sure so that's another seven thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars minus so let's do that neon kit i am actually gonna put this on because it's gonna help ever so slightly with with the traction of the car by lowering the center of gravity so let's minus another twenty eight thousand five hundred off of the price here to do that we're just gonna leave it white i'm not gonna color it uh, but we're gonna do that for sure yellow and black for the plate we will do, we will do that for the respray of the car it could go for my crew color could go for something bright i think bright is gonna be what we're what we're gonna be looking for with the vodka here we could go bright orange we could go regular orange could also go for like a race yellow you know honestly sunrise orange i think is gonna look really good let's do that the color upgrade is free so we'll do that for the spoiler option now we can go for the low level wing or the carbon wing i feel like the low level wing looks kind of silly so let's go for the carbon wing i don't love the look of it either but i feel like it looks better of the two so that's another ninety five hundred dollars so that's gone suspension do i want to lower this vehicle probably let's do minus 4180 on the vodka and that's competition suspension right there and I think that is literally every possible thing that we can do to this vehicle. So this thing's maxed out. Let's uh, let's take it. Let's take it outside. We've got two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars left over. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I would say. Let's bring it outside and let's see it in the light. Oh, she's looking. She's looking mean. Now this thing does get some insane wheel spin off the line, which is quite annoying, I find honestly. But overall, I feel like it is going to be a good performer. I feel like we're going to be able to do pretty well on the drag race. I think. I think that the sprint race as well as the circuit race are going to be um, our strongest performances with the Vodka. Uh, I could be totally wrong, but I think the looks challenge is also, you know, we we have the potential there. And then, you know, even for the budget challenge, we have an extra 225k and we have a supercar which i think i think that speaks a lot so um let's 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 see what happens here i'm feeling pretty confident with the vodka as my pick uh this car is pretty awesome so yeah we'll we'll have to see we'll have to see how this goes and is anyone here no we are the first ones back wonder what it's gonna be Alrighty, boys i'm wondering oh it is the Ooh, v12 oh the v12 oh interesting someone whipped Sounds out a good. vodka that would be me i thought about it i'm interesting mm -hmm. very yeah interesting. yeah that oh. is a sick lineup this is a sick lineup this is a it, it would seem that everybody's realized that going for the top end of the budget doesn't work yeah mm -hmm. as a yeah as was learned in the last challenge and I learned the, the hard way karen sultan as well yes and yes, also with that. I think I think the one that really hammered it in for me was the where we had the sports car lineup with the 9F and the Coquette and the Yeah. And the, was the last yeah. Felter. The sh and yeah. the Felter. Oh, that one was brutal. Yeah, yeah. It's it's all about the upgrades, it really is. Look at us. We're so fucking cheap. <laughs> yeah, we're just a bunch of cheap bastards. We're smart. Well, okay. it, it's I think it's drag race time. It is drag race time. I agree. I'm I don't know who's going to win this. I really I'm don't. I'm so interested to see. Sports car. A dedicated sports car. Not like the Shafter V12 where it's kind of half and half. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there you go, buddy. I, right, saw, right, I, saw right, that. Right. I saw that inch. Come on now. All right. Um, All right, ready? boys. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, drag race time. Let's ruin it. Out. Let's find out. Oh, shoot. oh my god! Oh, shoots, let's go. what? shoots off the line. Okay. No shot. Oh no, no shot. Way. No way. No, no way. shot. Oh, oh my god. No up. shot. The top speed. Oh, we're the up. top end. The what? Vodka. The top the end. What? That's crazy. What? What? No shot, bro. The shaft. Oh. Bro, why is the V12 so fast? Oh my god. Oh, man. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What? It's a literal bullet. That thing is 
fast, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I, we got to find out what's going to happen on the circuit now. Yes. That's okay. going to be interesting because you do have all wheel drive with the Jester and we only mm. have rear, but uh, our cars do seem oh. like they're a little bit faster. So, I yeah. Don't know. So. Now we are at the start of our circuit race. Uh, the circuit basically goes all the way around the Alamo Sea along the main road here. And basically the first person to pass the welcome to Sandy Shore sign right in front of us here is deemed the winner of the circuit race. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, this dude's... Oh, he's mad. All right, let's go. <laughs> all right. Don't get jumped. Here we go. Yeah. Let's see. Good. Oh my god, that, that is brutal. I'm just gonna have to defend my position. That just makes me feel so bad. <laughs> oh, we're playing like that, huh? The big, we're playing like that, the huh? The big German oh. bully comes through in the V12. Man. Double my cylinders. <laughs> yeah. Not fair. Yeah. Unfair advantage. All right, oh, buddy. oh god, oh man. Oh, oh, oh shit. no, no, the no. just just takes the of lead. Of course, oh, no. NPC screws me over yet again <laughs> in the circuit race. Oh my, oh, my god, I was, I was just watching you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, oh, I've got uh, so much clearance here. No, and the jester is the, the all wheel drive. Oh, yeah, yeah. here we go. Time yeah. to eat. No, 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 no food for oh, you. Oh, man. Oh, shortcut. Oh, jump. Was that a little mistake? Nope. nope. He just does not care. Okay. Simply doesn't care. Oh, and there's Harmon behind us. <sighs> oh, my right. God. <gasps> no, I'm in the water. Dude, no. No way. <laughs> no, dude. Oh. How do you do that? <sighs> dude. Oh, no one rocks. Oh, oh no, nice. No, Another no, one no. down. I don't know if I, I, it's, it's just a GTA moment where the car turns into you and it turned into me oh. and sent me off the edge Ooh. into the water. That's brutal. <sighs> New that's racing. Brutal. It, it happens. It definitely does. Oh, I'm so <laughs> mad, dude. <laughs> Man. I'd be too. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> That is three points for Mr. Oh, Twingo right. and his Jester, two points for myself in the Shafter, and one point for Harm None in the Vaca due to unfortunate circumstances. Otherwise, the race could have turned out differently, but well, all right. Now it's, uh, now it's time for challenge number three, the looks challenge. Yes. I would, uh, I'd like to hear your guys' opinions. I think, I think Twingo, I'd... as the winner, should get to go first. I think I'm, I'm the best looking. I think this car is really cool. It's really accurate to real life NSX too, which is pretty nice. It's got some really nice curves to it. I think the wing really adds a lot to it and some carbon bumpers and skirts. It's just, oh, chef's kiss. It's it's nice. It's nice. I, okay. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice car. I can't lie. You know, I, I'm a bit biased. I do like the Shaft V12 a lot, I have to say. It's, really? It's the Shafter V12 is definitely. I, I think it's actually a pretty good looking car um, from the front, from from like the side profile, not so much. Like that's where it gets so ruined. Long. It gets and and from like the back angle too. It just it's it's something about the rear fenders on this car just doesn't work. I don't know. Like the spoiler and like the the tail section of the car is actually pretty good looking. I think, but it's something about the middle section of this car looks just something's something's just not quite right. Really, I was actually going to. Uh... To say otherwise, I think the front and the back are so, they're just too simplistic for my liking. But I really like the middle section because it's got like a lot of detail with uh, right above the skirts. It's got like uh, some kind of like indenting with the metalwork there. And then that connects with the fender really nicely in the back. And I think um, just like the bottom half of the car looks really good. But I think if you look at it from just the front and the back, I'm personally not a huge fan. I, I think it looks good from the front. I won't lie. And from the back too. It's it's like it's like okay from the back. I think it's gr it's good from the front though. I'm with Harm on that. Yeah. Really? I think the middle's like nothing too it's, spectacular, it's not, it's but it's nothing, not bad looking. Yeah, it's nothing special, but it's not good looking. I think I think the biggest problem with the V12 is that, that the windows like slant up 
towards the back of like they're low at the front and then oh, they, get, yeah. they get high towards the back of the car which i know is oh, a, I it's, it's mercedes styling at at the time like uh, you know the shaft of v12 i think is based pretty heavily off the e63 or even the c63 and that's that's just the style that mercedes was going for at that point but i definitely think like the newer e63 the newer c63 if they were to do an updated shaft of v12 it would look a lot better i mean it, it, it's also kind of based off the s class which the s class is like similar i would say yeah overall not not a bad looking car Car, I don't think. The, the I do have something to say, and this kind of goes for both of you, but your fitment is way off for your wheels. Yeah, it's... That looks pretty bad. It's, uh... It's it's not it's not it's, as bad on the Vaca, but yeah, man, it's it's quite a noticeable. Yeah, on, on the shaft of V12, especially the rear wheel, the fitment is horrible. Yeah, what do you mean? Like it's like like it's, in the fender. It's like in the fender. Yeah. Like you can't tell there's a there's a wheel on the car. <laughs> I think the stock wheels might go all the way to the end though. They, that's what I, happens for some race cars. And also lowering the car uh, makes it worse on the shaft yeah, of V12. Yeah, I slammed it. Uh, yeah, oh, it, it can look it can look pretty uh, pretty normal um if it's if it's raised, but it, it's still it's not good. It's not good mm -hmm. no matter how you slice it, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the V12 is not bad. I mean, I think I think the Vaca has always been a great looking car. It's always just been let down by the performance. Not necessarily even its individual. Like individually, I think the performance of the Vaca is pretty good. But in comparison to uh, like all the other supercars it's not that good completely agree with you on that actually i think the vodka i love the look of the vodka i've always wished that um it had good performance so that you could race yeah, it because no, then it would give completely. people an incentive to drive it completely um, i think it's just got like a beautiful smooth body shape and it's small too yeah uh, I, in I, length and I think you did the car a lot of justice by throwing these Mercy Concaves on. I, th I thought they looked so good. Beautiful, they look dude. so good on this car. But like, I've never seen a rim look better on a car than like this right now. Than this right now. Yeah. Like, it's no, the, the, the Mercy Concaves, some of the new rims that are in the game definitely can work so well with the older cars and like this is the first time I've, I've customized the Vodka in probably five years. So yeah. Um, you know, to put the mercies on you, it was like, it was like, man, this looks good. So yeah, that looks super good. I was kind of thinking the same with when I threw in the hyper freshers and the shaft. Cause yeah, they, they fit nicely. Yeah. Just the oh, new yeah. rams look good on, on old cars. Yeah. Totally. Kind of revives them a little bit. Totally. I think, uh, Kai, you did the same thing too. Yeah. I sure did. These are kind of close to the type S's the, actual wheels. They don't so want it to go for They're not the super lux. They're the high fives it's something high yeah fives. High fives. the high fives yeah i think i have my order for for what what i think i think the cars uh looks wise uh are throw it out because i i'm still kind of forming my opinion i think the vodka number one i think it's a it's really a toss-up between the jester and the shafter v12 because i love i can't believe i love i love the shafter v12 but the jester is like better looking so i think i think vodka jester shafter v12 and i, also, I really I, think I, I deserve number one i also think that the shafter v12 is just so massive in comparison that that is really <laughs> like it, that's kind of throwing me off a little bit too and I, th I think the vodka looks good but it's just a little plain looking in my opinion and as with the jester not just because i customize it but you can do these bumpers and side skirts and rear bumpers and it's a whole lot more depth to it to it but with the vodka there's no front bumper there's no side skirts there's a cool rear bumper though and the spoiler looks great with that a little too plain i think i would argue that if they did add customization to the vodka which of course they haven't and and it's not on the car and it's not possible to put it on is the there car, nothing there there's nothing you can do Damn. for for any like even the rear bumper stock the side skirts are stock the front bumper stock but i think if they added skirts and if they added a front bumper to this thing and a rear bumper and maybe some mirrors or something too i think that the vodka would look probably like far better than any of the other two cars here i i could absolutely agree with that with what i'm thinking it can like, look like if, right if now. there's like a little bit more of an aggressive front splitter on that like if you can make it look like a Gallardo, like super legera, like, oh yeah, that'd be sick. But unfortunately, you can't. Sadly, not. Yeah. So I think you guys both did like so good by your cars, but with your customizations, I think they both look fantastic. I'm completely comfortable with throwing the V12 in last place. I personally have never thought it was a good looking car. I picked it more so for the performance Valid. and the value over over like its looks. <laughs> I've it's not bad looking, but I've never thought it was a good looking car. Yeah. Like I have with the Vaca and uh the Jester actually I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this is the best customization I've ever seen on a Jester. I've never liked it the way the vehicle looks, but um it's growing on me 
It's Especially pretty clean yours. like this. Oh my god, it looks so... It looks really good. Mm -hmm. um, I think your neon is throwing me off a little bit just because it's a different shade of yellow. It's a little bit of a different yellow. They, it's that or the golden shower, which is orange. I need me a golden shower. Right? <sighs> I think something oh, that something so, that I really tough. don't like with the Jester and the Reaper suffers from the exact same thing. Oh. Why are the front windshield pillars a different color? That oh. is a little sus. Yeah. Why on earth did they do that to this car and the Reaper? Damn. Because the Reaper too. I the Reaper. Yeah, that. the Reaper has the exact same thing. And that that's the one thing about the Jester that just kind of kills me i'm not like I, I don't know i'm not a super big fan of the nsx in real life like the new one i think that the old one looked a lot better but that could also just be some weird like nostalgia thing but kind of agree boomer trait yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah i it's definitely growing on me as they as they release more new nsx's yeah um but i think that yeah if, the old one is so beautiful but i the new one is like it's I a pretty it a like letdown, new take on it but it I, is i think you're a your customization, it's its making me rethink my life, you know? <laughs> Valid. I think it looks so good. Um, the only thing is, I, I am I the tiebreaker here? You are. Yeah. I'm the tiebreaker? Okay. Um, I think, I think I'm going to have to go with the Vaca. I think it just looks, it looks slightly more like a vehicle. It's got that classic Lamborghini style. I think the Jester from the front with those lights being separated, like, because it, you know, like you see how the headlights are split into two parts on each side. It makes it look very insect-like. Yeah, I, I can see I don't saying. like that. I think Ooh. the rest of the car looks beautiful. And I think the customization is beautiful. Just by a hair, I think the Vodka is uh, it's a little better looking. I, I can't believe this. I agree. I agree. I think the Vodka is slightly better looking. Unreal. Well, I guess well, that is that's, three points for that's, the Vodka. That's three for me. Let's go. I needed those. Two. I needed those three. <laughs> you really did. Yeah. Two um, for the Jester and uh, one for the Shafter V12. That's correct. Valid. So All right. well, I'm at five. NPC is at, at six. Yes. I am at five as well. Close. This is close. Am I at five? Yeah. Wait a second. Hang on. No, I'm at six. I'm because I got two in the drag race, three right now, and then yes. I got a one in the circuit. So I'm at six. So NPC and I are tied. Wow. Oh man. Interesting. 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 Okay. Well, it's uh, it's going to be sprint race time now. Yes, it is time for now, the sprint race. Where where should we sprint race to? I've been picking them, so I think I think it's only fair that uh, that somebody else gets to uh, gets to pick the sprint race location. The strip club. <clears throat> oh yes. <laughs> the vanilla unicorn, you say? You oh, there's only one strip club, right? Yeah, there's only one. Okay. Interesting. It's that. not marked on my map. Is that is that the same for you guys? It's the you haven't locked it, or is it because it's daytime? No, it's uh, it's there on the map. Oh, uh, maybe I maybe I've removed it off of my. Uh... I see it. Yeah, because you said you removed like the parachute. Yeah, I removed a stuff. lot of stuff. I don't stuff. know how you. How do you even do that? I can't really remember, but I think I know where it is. It's it's right beside the convenience store and just up from the suburban, correct? Like, right it's by like, the it's like, convenience store of yes. Yes, like right there in that parking lot. Okay, so right here. So okay, yeah, I, I I'm uh, I'm I'm down for that. I'm down for the strip club. Yep. Epic. Okay. All right. Well, gentlemen, are are we ready? I'm yes. ready. Okay. On go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm actually very nervous for this because even though I picked it, I've got uh, I've got no clue how to get there. You're I'm very well known with this route. Yeah. <laughs> I. Oh no! This is why did I take this? No. Oh man! I yeah. I love no. off roading. Boy, do I love off roading. Boy, do I, I really love hear off roading. How slow it gets too. Yeah. I love off roading. Especially oh, in my Lamborghini. Uh, all right, all right. Well. Oh, I flipped again, oh. dude. What is with this car flipping? It's so skinny. Damn. Oh no. Little spin. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, that took forever. Oh yeah. Okay. I oh just, no. I just gotta. I just gotta. I just gotta keep my uh, keep my lead here a little bit, and uh, I think I'm gonna be good to go. Unreal. Oh, Frank, man. I don't see orange in front of me. You just might. I don't know. I feel like you went a different way. 
You I think I did well, go yeah, to you, you definitely yeah. went a different way, but just how different, I don't know. Yeah. I do have a bit of a, a bit of a secret here for uh, for how to get here. So, I'm, uh, if you guys take that one tunnel under the highway by the CEO offices, you um, you, it's a shortcut to get there. By the way. Right. Oh my! That's a pole. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I bought race brakes and they don't do shit. Oh no. Um, no. Is that is that a shaft of uh, V12? Is that a shaft of V12 that I see ahead of me? No! No! <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Oh my god. Three points for harm none. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. That's nine points. That's f***ed up. It's, it's also karma because I've done that to you twice now. But... Yeah. Yeah, it oh. hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> That's brutal. What route did you guys take? Straight down the highway. Oh my goodness. I took the, the Madraza road again and it's... Oh, oh. I see. I see which road I should have taken. The dirt. The dirt road. I should have just followed you guys out. I I had the far the far starting point though. So yeah. Like, Your top speed definitely would have helped you on the highway, but uh, yeah, it would have. That's okay. Uh, I'll, that's I'll, rip. You know I'll I'll happily take first place. Well, it's discussion time. It is discussion time. Well, I guess we should talk about budgets. Yeah, we should talk about oh, budgets. Yes. How much uh, how much money did you have left over, Twingo? I have. Two hundred and fifty-six thousand nine hundred and fifty. Interesting. So I think this could have been a five hundred K car. It definitely could have. It definitely yes. could have. Yes. And NPC, how much do you have left over? Three hundred thirty-nine thousand six hundred sixty. So I have actually oh. somehow spent the most money. I don't understand that. Because how is that possible? That doesn't make any sense. Do you do your math what? correctly? Yeah, I minus everything that I customized. How much are your customization options on the Jester? Like three dollars a piece? Yeah, they're like fifteen hundred. 3,000 for a bunch of cosmetic stuff. That's still I think the spoiler was 7,500. Uh, the bumpers were very cheap, yeah. You know what it is? It's probably because you have a supercar. Yeah, oh, mine's still a sports car. Why. That is why. Mm. Okay, well, I have 225,000 left over, so I spent the most money. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. But well, I, I mean, I, you are in first place. I do have a supercar, and I am in first place. <laughs> um, interesting. Think of how much do you have left over? 256? Like a 30,000 difference between you two? Yeah. And your cars are roughly the same price too, right? They're exactly the exactly. same price. Oh. 240,000 a piece. Huh. I mean, I, it kind of scales correctly. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it definitely it yeah. definitely does. Um, um, I think uh, the, the shaft of V12 does need to get discussed because- It definitely does. I'm a- uh, Straight line- well, I'm not in last place. Straight line performance is unreal with the shaft of V12. It's fucking insane. Yeah, the shaft of V12 definitely has a pretty good argument, especially considering you have how much money? 339,000? I have 339,660, and I went for, for everything. So I, I even threw on armor and brakes. You have 114,000 um, more dollars than I do. Wow. <laughs> My car is also about that price cheaper, though. Is the yeah, point. yeah, 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 that is true, so. You still did walk me in the drag race, which I, I did I, walk I, you in the drag race. I will race. say, handling wise, that <laughs> car is definitely not nearly as good as the Vaca or the Jester. Not, mm -hmm. you know, I uh, I agree with you on that. I I do think I could have had I taken a better route on the sprint race. Mm -hmm. I do think that I would have won. I I think that I kind you of got have. confused on the highway section because there's so many lines that cross here on the mini map, and I I just did not see that the highway went all the way through. Yeah, so that's why I went for a different route. But if I did know, I think I would have won. And also, I messed up like three or four times on the uh, the circuit race. Where I was like, like they were pretty big mess ups, you know. It wasn't like yeah. I just, I just my tail end spun out. Like I was flipping over, I was backwards, I was uh, in a ditch, and still I was right behind Twingo at the finish line. That is true. That yeah, you were keeping up pretty good. The, the Shafter definitely has a case for. I think <sighs> for first we're place. in the better hand. I think if the V12 were in a better driver's hands or 
if I was at least a little more used to driving it, I think uh, those races would be in the bag. Yeah, I, 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 I would I would agree. If you're talking about saving money and getting a great car for 750k, it's like, it's not bad. It's not How bad. How much does a car cost itself? Uh, 114,000. Oh wow, that's very cheap. It's, it's super, super cheap. Cheap. Yeah, very interesting. Very yeah. interesting. The shaft of Vito definitely value wise is, I would say the best car out of the three, and it's also a four door. Yes. And that, that there is a case to be made for that. I I see what you're saying about the the budget, but this challenge in particular is talking about best value for its money. So yes, yes. all of that money that you're not spending on the Jester, the Vaca, that you let's say spend on the Shafter, you could spend on another car. Exactly. Eventually, you know, or or on a business or something else to make you more money. So there is a case there. There is a case there. I I would say the Shafter V12 is the best value for money. I uh I can agree with that. There, there is that. I would argue yeah. that between the Jester and the Vaca, that the Vaca is slightly better. I completely disagree. I think oh, you, you definitely won more points with it. I think I was mainly for top speed, so I try not to count that. But I think with the Jester's all-wheel drive and good handling and great acceleration too, even though like it lacks in the top speed, I think it, I could find a lot more use for this and a lot more drivability with it compared to the Vaca. Because hmm. I, I do think this one handles a bit better. It definitely feels a lot easier to drive yeah, with yeah. the all-wheel drive. Of course, top speed is pretty important in GTA when you're driving across the city the whole time. So I see your point as well. Top speed is important. Looks are also important as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. I and I do say. think mine is definitely better looking. I do. Th <laughs> I, I definitely think mine is better looking. I think you're biased. I. I it's your car. No, no, no. I just, I just think, I, I don't know. I'll I think be monkey the way I be in the middle. I think, I think that I think the Vaca is a better looking car. The top end is definitely better. Dragging sorry, on the drag strip is better. I think that had I not got into the water on the circuit race, I could have probably beaten the Shafter V12 because I was really close and I was gaining on NPC there. And I don't know. I mean, if he if he caught up to you in the V12, I feel like I could have caught up to you in the Vaca. I did win over both vehicles in the sprint race as well. So, and mm. our cars are identical price-wise. You did spend a little bit less money, but I do have a supercar which does have slightly better performance, at least in a straight line. Mm -hmm. So, I, I really don't know. I I think... I know. The all-wheel drive is mildly better though. Like that, that does, that does definitely improve the car and the customization that you can do is also nice with the Jester. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I still think the Vaca for 240k is the better pick because you're getting a literal supercar instead of a sports car. But that's that's all I can say. It's it's up to NPC, I think, to decide this. I uh, I'm thinking. I think the Vaca was placed in very good hands. However, I do think that the Jester is uh, slightly slightly better for its value. I think that while it doesn't have nearly as high of a top speed, some of our challenges were more top speed focused. The all-wheel drive, I think, is a. Uh, it was. It played less of a major role than I thought it would in especially like the off-road race because like you said you were gaining on me and I was gaining on Twingo and I think that um the acceleration was like the big the big difference maker because out of all of those hairpin turns he could just get so much ground mm -hmm. so yeah, much ground you know ground that that it, it almost like nerfed the shaft of v12's top top speed and while the vodka does have a, a better top speed as well it doesn't have that acceleration so if you put it in a situation where you're going to be like turning a lot and uh true. and whatnot it's a uh, it's definitely more of a straight line i think the vehicle. performance yeah i think the performance starts to, to teeter off a little bit and, and i think um, the gesture would be a lot better as a city car too which is yes what a lot of people do as well that's true that's true i i agree with that one um, the very last thing, I guess, is is the looks. And while I do think the Vaca is better looking, I think the Jester is a nice looking vehicle as well. Yes. So I, I think that tips it tips the scales a little bit. Jester or Shafter, Jester, Vaca. I'm yeah, happy with that. I, I would say that I still tied for first place, so I'm nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah. What are the final points? I think Harmon and I are at ten. Ten, and you're at nine. Nice. Almost oh, there. That was close. That was Almost so close. There. I thought it was a three-way tie for a second. I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe soon. Yeah. I don't know. Is it possible to do three-way tie in this? I don't know if it I, is. I can't do math right now. I, I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. But I don't. Yeah, want, I don't I, know. I, I don't want to do the math, but uh, yeah. I, 
I, I'd say it was. I'd say it was a good challenge. That's, it was that's, a what, very that's good what I will say for sure. Absolutely. Um, I'm impressed with your guys' picks because I thought I was going to be smoking in the V12. I guess I was a little too eager. That thing's a lot faster than I thought. It I knew lot, it was fast. I knew, but... that, I knew the shaft of V12. Even as somebody who owns four of them, I knew it was a fast <laughs> car, but I did not expect it to be that much faster than these two cars. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's, it's a. It's crazy how, how long it's sit at the top since it's a really business battle. Yes. Since it's been in the game for so long. Yeah. I and know. it's still at the top of the sedans class, I believe, and it's a, a it's, viable it's, sports uh, car. It's it's top two in sedans. The Cinquemila on a twisty circuit will beat it, but on a straight line circuit, it will beat the Cinquemila. Okay. Interesting. That car is sick. It is. It is. Well, gentlemen, I, 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 I suppose that concludes the challenge. It's a, yes, it's a tie for NPC and I and Twingo in third place very narrowly uh, with nine points and we are tied at 10. So anyway, guys, I, I hope you enjoyed this challenge today. Leave a like, of course, if you did enjoy. Dislike if you didn't, of course. Go subscribe to NPC and Twingo both as well. And we will see you in the next challenge. Until then, take care. Peace.